Always work as a life preneur. If you're new, you're most welcome. On this channel, I talk about entrepreneurship, social media growth, mostly Instagram and YouTube. I share with you tips and tricks on how to grow your business. This, in today's video, I'm doing a DIY. I'm going to share with you a DIY of how I achieved this DIY reflector. If you're new to videography, to photography, this is a must have. They might be expensive and costly in shops, but you can have this as a start. And the reason why you need the reflector, like, an, like the name suggests, if you are using na uh, not natural light, today I'm not using natural light, as you can see my windows are closed. I'm using artificial light, which is my ring light. So I need light to reflect on my face, right? I need my face and everything to be lit, to look okay, to look perfect you know in your eyes so for me to achieve that look right i'm not using a reflector but this is what would happen if i use a reflector i hope you can see that you can see even from the curtains that something is going on right like so. this is what we're gonna do today I'm going to show you how to come up with a reflector because you need it because every small youtuber needs it and most of people do not know this so at the end of the day the videos are really dark and you know we can't see the details on your face if you cannot afford right now we cannot afford soft boxes we cannot afford uh, reflectors of all colors in the meantime we can just diy this is a cardboard guys this is a cardboard or what do you call it? A carton. We call it a carton. Yeah? Gosh, I'm in love with this thing. I mean, look at that. The glow. <laughs> you can do this while recording your video. Just make sure it's on the low. No one can see it. It shouldn't be here. For everyone to see that, just make it that it's on the low so that the light can bounce on your face. So just put it on the low, do your thing, record, record, record. Once you're done, you put it down. Or you can just put it on the table and then make sure that the light, you tilt the light, your artificial light, be it be soft box or ring light, tilt it on the reflector so that the light can bounce back into your face. So that is the purpose of this whole video. So let's get into a video. Into the video, let me show you how I came up with this. <music> Hi guys welcome back again this is where we start those are the items that we're going to use for our project so this is an old reflector that i used before i had it for quite some time now and as you can see it's torn so we have to renew it so i thought why not share with you how i do it so that you can also do the same you can use a bigger box i just like this one because it's small it's portable i can travel with it if i have to yeah so what i'm doing right here is just simply removing the old aluminium foil and then we'll soon replace it with the new one so it's just aluminium foil a scissor a cardboard and what cello tape or if you don't have a cello tape you can use a stapler and I'd advise you to use a stapler only if you're using a stronger aluminium foil because this one I'm using right now is the kitchen aluminium foil so it's quite easy and simple it's easy to tear so if you use a salad um, stapler it will tear up very quickly so like enough we had a bigger salad tape and yeah we're going to replace the smaller salad tape with the bigger one Now I'm just simply trying to measure my aluminium paper and I usually don't like working with it the other way, the first way I showed you, so I do it this way. So I just go ahead and measure where the cut box or where the box ends or where the cartoni ends. <laughs> right, so what I'm doing here is just to make sure that I have enough excess um, aluminium foil so that when I tape it at the back it's I have um, enough to work with 
So you just do it like how we used to do it in when you were kids, when you were carrying your books in January or whenever. So like I mentioned earlier, this is aluminium foil. It's easy. It's very light. So that's why I'm using my scissor to go through it. It's not strong. It's very, very light. So just go ahead now and just do the other side. Yeah, like enough, we got the bigger or thicker cello tape, and then we can put away our stapler and the small cello tape. So right now, I'm just going through to make sure that I lay everything accordingly. That's how cool it looks. So once I'm done, I'll just flip it and then lay everything down and tape it. So everything else, you can just follow through the video. Maybe I think I'll just stop talking here and then, yeah, you just watch and see how I do it. So at this point, sorry, I get <laughs> if you don't have solar tape, that's the part where you use your stapler to go around your box, your cardboard. But instead, I'll go in with my solar tape. Because as I mentioned, a stapler for that light aluminium foil will just make or it will just make it here. There we go, we're done. So now it's just to cover the two parts together and just I'll just use sellotape to hold the two pieces together. Like so. There we are, we're done. It's easy. So those are the four items that I use. And then we're done. So this is just me trying out the reflector, taking pictures with it. And that's how the pictures came out. That's how it will look in a video. I'm just trying to get pictures for my thumbnails. Playing around with the reflector.